Hi all. In my today's video cast, I will talk about uh, uh, using Bean Bear Edition framework with uh, a JSF2. Uh, Bean Bear Edition framework started as a JSF 3.03, uh, which says uh, uh, how can we easily achieve uh, validation of Java beans uh, through annotations. Earlier days, we used to do that through XML files, external external files. Now, as part of JSF 3.03, we can achieve that easily with uh, uh, with the use of annotations. Now, I, I'll show you a demo how seamlessly we can integrate um, uh, this uh, Java bin, bin validation framework with Java server faces and often uh, validation of uh, Java bins. How can we uh, forward the message to uh, from the backend to your JSF pages seamlessly? So I'll just show you that. Um, so for my demo, I have used uh, Hibernate bin validation framework implementation. Uh, so, Hibernate bin validation framework is the implementation of JSA 303. Similarly, you have Apache bval. Uh, bval also has its own implementation of JSA 303. You can use either one. So, in my case, um, I have used uh, uh, bin validator from uh, uh, Hibernate. So, you can download the jar file and put it into your folder. No additional uh, configuration is required. Only put the bin validator.jar file under your leaf folder in your WebNS uh, folder. Uh, to get started, I have created uh, a Pojo class called employee. There I have uh, two fields, name and email. Uh, just ignore all these annotations as of now. I'll just describe later on what, why I have used this annotation. Uh, so I have two fields here, string name and email, and I have the corresponding getter and setters. And I have used a registration page. So here, um, so uh, here for the uh, this is the entry point for uh, this is the input area for uh, first uh, name, and this is the entry point for email. And uh, I am invoking the save button. So I have a registration managed bin, which is request scope. I have on, on clicking on the save button, I'm calling the register method of my recession bin. So this is my recession bin, uh, which is request scoped. And I have a employee object, which I'll, uh, which I'll find to my uh, access email pages. So I have, it, I need this. I have the second getter for this particular object here. Um, so if you can see, so this is the input text for my name, uh, the field name, so you can see this. So this is the enter name and enter email. Uh, so this is bind to uh, my recession bean dot employee dot name. Similarly, <coughs> uh, the email also bind similarly raise dot employee dot email. Now the moment I click on save, whatever value I'll enter here, uh, a employee object will be created by the recession bin. So the moment uh, your page renders, a empty employee bin is created and whatever I will set, the particular object or sorry, the particular fields will be uh, set to this object. So I say I will see, uh, I will enter my name and uh, So the moment I click on save, so it goes to the backend system. If you, you can see the log trace I put in this entry object, two string method. Um, even if I'm printing in my uh, uh, XHTML page also, if you can see I have printed it here. Whole log employee object I have printed. And uh, so this is a pretty simple uh, a form submission example. Now I'll just show you. How can we integrate our uh, bean validation framework and how it, what is the benefit we get out of it? Um, so coming to the Pojo class or our employee of class, we have two fields. Uh, one is name and one is email. So if you can see, I have used two things, not null and size. So these are the two annotations uh, which, is, which are part of bean validation framework. So what it says, when you annotate a field with something called not null, so that means um, the moment you click on 
the moment i click here save button so uh, <coughs> my recession been my js manage been will uh, comment picture and uh, it, it 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 saves the data to my employee object okay so what it does it will just uh, call the set method of uh, uh, set method of name and set method of email and whatever value we have send it from our front end page say abani and uh, this email will be set to this particular two elements so this is a normal behavior now when we do this when you annotate the fields with something like not null or at the red size there are a few other annotations available in the bin validation packet uh, so the moment you annotate it here first of all your bin validation framework the moment uh, your uh, JSF servlet tries to our face server tries to set the value over here it checks whether this field has any um, uh, annotations or not if yes then it checks not null that means this field cannot be null or empty so if you the user doesn't entry and the sorry doesn't enter anything uh, it will create a uh, error for you automatically it creates and uh, it puts them so uh, this not null uh, annotation has a attribute called message so whatever message uh, we give it here that will be passed to your faces message there is a faces message of object so your faces servlet uh, if there is an application or, or error or any error occurs then your faces servlet captures that error and it puts into the uh, faces message object so the faces message of, from the faces message object so we can easily retrieve the message from uh, our uh, xhtml page um so Consider uh, this will private string name. So what I'm saying, it should not be it should not be null. And if it becomes null, it, it should my uh, bin validation framework should validate it, and uh, it should give a message called name cannot be empty. Similarly, I have something called size. So the name should be minimum minimal of uh, five characters long, and message should be uh, whatever uh, you define message, whatever I want. That means. the minimum length of my name should be uh, uh, equal to 5 sorry uh, minimum minimum 5 5 characters or else it will throw an error saying name should not uh, should be more than 5 characters long similarly email also i have used not null email cannot be empty and it's that email so uh, a, a hybrid validator has a it they have created their own email constraint uh, using bin validation framework you can you, we can have our own Uh, and um, uh, validation constraints so these are called constraints also these annotations are called constraints so uh, uh, using bin validation framework we can also create our own constraint and we can write our own implementation of validation process uh, so i'll that i'll discuss later on so whatever out of box functionalities are available with the bin validation implementation that i'm showing it here uh, so to let's let's go back to our page and uh, try to do something so uh, i just remove my name over here email is available so i the moment i click on here so what it does uh, it says name cannot be empty if you come to the access email page what i use h colon message so it just said uh, this particular tag library is used to fetch the available message in your um, uh, faces message object uh so what it, what what it have what happened uh the moment i click save button so recession bin is called and <clears throat> it tries to set the value of name over here in this particular area it tries to set the value and uh, at this particular time whenever sends the bin validation framework name into picture and it checks this field has an uh, annotation called not null and if it is null then uh, you should add this message to this faces uh, message object so this particular thing is done internally so we don't have to add this particular message to our faces message object manually automatically it gets added uh, and it it returns it returns it back to the corresponding page uh, so here it says names name cannot be empty say i will just say uh, i'll give an invalid thing so it says enter a valid email or if the moment i uh, delete it here it says email cannot be empty so uh, this is a 
like pretty pretty simple example and uh, very it's very dynamic that from from a bean class whatever messages I have given, uh, it automatically comes here. So let's say I give some value thing, click on save. It takes all the parameter and uh, displays us. It gives us the result. So this is a, a basic example of using bean validation framework with JSF two. 